there, Hannah here with Delta Faucet. Today we're gonna walk through how to install the Delta Clarify shower filter attachment. This installation will work for both the standard and the premium shower filter models. Today I'm installing the standard version. This product simply attaches between your current shower head and shower arm to reduce impurities that may cause dry skin and hair without requiring any changes to your plumbing. The filter maintenance is so simple. It takes less than two minutes to replace the filter cartridge and you can connect to the DFC at home app to be notified when it's time to change it. Check out our separate video to walk you through those replacement steps. All right, let's collect the tools we may need to complete this easy installation. Safety glasses, a towel for some light water cleanup, and also an adjustable wrench. All right, let's jump in. The first step is removing your existing shower head. So to do that, you're gonna spin it counterclockwise by this ball joint back here. And if you are planning on reusing your shower head and yours is really locked in place, you just wanna make sure that if you use a wrench, you're not scratching it. So to remove it, we're gonna spin this counterclockwise. And you wanna make sure that you're not also gonna unscrew your shower arm from the wall. So I like to put one hand on it just to brace it, make sure it's not gonna spin too. All right, now when you get this off, there may be some water that comes out, so grab a towel for some light water cleanup. All right, now if your shower head at home had plumber's tape on it, you wanna make sure that you're taking all of that off on both the threads of the shower arm and also inside of this ball joint here. You also wanna make sure that this gasket is still seated in the ball joint. That's gonna be important in a future step. All right, let's go ahead and move on to flushing the shower arm. Anytime you replace a plumbing product, it's a good idea to flush your line. So to do that, we're gonna turn on our valve, let the water run for about 10 seconds just to get any potential debris out, and then we'll be ready to move on to the next step. Next, we're going to install our filter. So the first step is to unscrew this plastic storage cap from our mounting nut. You can discard this. Next, we're gonna peel off this sticker here. You can also discard this. Now we wanna make sure that the gasket is seated in the mounting nut here. So you just can press it in place, making sure that that's correctly seated. All right, now I'm gonna orient my filter here so that the cap of my cartridge is facing to the right. Now I'm gonna line it up with the threads on my shower arm and I'm gonna turn my mounting nut clockwise until I feel it seat on there. Once you've got it hand tied on there, you can grab an adjustable wrench. I've actually gone ahead and placed some electrical tape around my wrench to make sure that I'm not gonna scratch the finish. So you don't wanna over tighten this. You just wanna make sure that you get it nice and snug. And you wanna make sure that you're not gonna crush that gasket inside. All right, that looks good. Now we can move on to the next step. Now it's time to install our shower head. So you wanna verify that that gasket is still seated in place. If it is, we can go ahead and line up our shower head with the threads on our filter and turn it clockwise. You don't need to use any tools to tighten this up. You just wanna get it hand tight. Now we can go ahead and turn the water on. We wanna flush any air out of the system. So you wanna let that water run for about a minute. While it's running, you also wanna check for leaks at two connection points, right here and right here. All right, that wraps up our install. I hope it went well for you. If you have any questions, you can always reach out to the Delta Faucet customer service team. They're happy to help.